So let's say you have a slot here on your motherboard, and you want to connect up a uh, video expansion card and uh, put that into this slot. Well, if it's an advanced kind of video card, it's going to go really fast. If it goes really fast, it's going to be processing lots of graphics. That's the kind of unit this will be. So usually the manufacturer will put a GPU on it. That's a graphic processing unit. It's not a central processing unit. It's a processing unit that processes graphics. And typically they'll also add on an extra RAM chip over here to aid and assist the GPU in its graphics processing activities. On the end of the card over here, there'll be connectors, so you can hook up to some device. So what if you take this entire video technology and you integrate the entire thing onto the motherboard over here? That would be great. It'll still need that graphics processing unit, so you can put that in the form of some chip onto the motherboard itself, like so. Also, you're going to need to have connectors built into the motherboard that will enable it to connect up to your target device. One of the advantages of doing it this way, integrating it onto the motherboard that is, is that it frees up the expansion slot over here. So now you can use this slot for other boards, other expansion boards. Here's what one of those HDMI connectors might look like. It's a characteristic shape. It's You've got a uh, vertical, then you've got an angle, then a horizontal. Vertical, angle, horizontal. Here's the HDMI Type A plug. It's the male version, and it's same characteristic shape. Vertical, angle, horizontal. There's another type of connector called a DVID. It's a male DVID uh, connector. That, of course, would plug into the female connector over here, the female DVI connector. And over here on the other end, you have coming out of here an HDMI connector. So this is for conversion purposes. You're converting a DVI to HDMI. This is George Bull. Please rate and share this video, and good luck.